Knit Along Day 2, Part B. Okay, we're at the top of the ghosts. We have four more rows until we do the reduction on the armhole. And it should be four more rows before we start the orange for the pumpkin. All right, so now we're at another row of black. So we're going to cut the white. Clip the white. Knit across. Now at this point you could change out the black and the white for the green and the orange. This is your choice. I personally will wait until the checkerboard is done and then I will introduce the next yarn colors. Reintroducing the white, clipping the white, knitting across. One more time. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to switch yarn colors now. And then we will do the reduction on the right hand side, nine stitches. Okay, this has been quite the little gong show here. So what we wanna do is we wanna reduce nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a fairly nice length of black yarn. So I am going to gate peg bind off these nine stitches. And then I will explain what is in the carriage. That is stitch 80. This is stitch 79. We will simply lay that on top, put a clip on it. Now, pushing all of those out of work, I have orange in feeder B. I have green waiting. I will reintroduce green when we get to the other side. And we will do a reduction of nine on the other side.
Okay. Picking up what we did here. Introducing our green after reduced nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we will attach onto that one. So we will do let's do it in orange. Let's All right, we have cast off from 88 left to 79 left, get peg bind off. We have green in slot A, we have orange in slot B. And now we're going to knit across and start our reductions for the raglan. Okay, so we're going to decrease both sides one stitch. And we're going to do that with the double eye transfer tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to push the last two stitches back every row so that they only knit in color one. So just the last two stitches. Make sure you put your stitch out of work. 78 left, 78 right. Knitting across. Right. We also have to watch to make sure that when we are done the pumpkins and we are done the checkerboard before we start the witches that we change our yarns back to black and white. Pushing those back. Decrease, right, one, decrease, left, one. Okay, we're almost done the pumpkins. Make 
make sure that you move your stitch out of work. You're at 75 left, 75 right. Okay, we are now into the uh, checkerboards. So this is the last run. Right, one decrease, left one. Okay, so now you're going to get ready to change your yarns. But you're not going to change them until the checkerboard is done. So 74, 74. Alright, so that is all the way back. Push those back. We're now going to change out our yarns back to black and white. <clears throat> Leave a, ge a generous yarn tail. And we'll come back when I have the yarns loaded. Let's take a quick peek at what we got so far. We have a pumpkin. Looks like we did pretty good there. We have the ghost, and we have the word boo. I think we're doing pretty good. We are two-thirds of the way done. I don't think that's bad at all. We are at row 168, and every time we are, we are on the right-hand side, we reduce both sides of the bed. Makes sense. I'm trying hard to make sure that my yarn doesn't get caught on my camera, so that's why we're off to the side. You can also see that all of the needles are back, so we don't need color number two yet. We only need color number one. So when we get back to the right hand side, we will reintroduce color number two, which will be white. Decrease. Right, one, decrease, left, one. So we will decrease both left and right, one stitch. Alrighty, introducing color number two. We'll put a clip on it. And now we're going to knit. Those stay back. Oh, I'm not quite sure what's going on. So I'm just going to move my edge one on both sides out. 
for this one. So we should be at 71 and 71. Uh-oh. Hang on there. Looks like we had a, a loop on the white one. Oh my goodness. Huh. Well, I'm not quite sure what is going on. I think I have a static problem. Because this is just weird. Um, okay, I'm going to move these back. And see if I can rescue this. Alright. I'll come back. Okay. Decrease left one. Ouch. Okay, row 75, left 70, right 70. For some reason, my carriage is not kicking out the last stitch, even though it should. Even though I said to push them all back, it should still kick them out for me, but it's not. Ready? 